Hey everyone, Zeti and Technology News here, and today I am taking a look at the brand new HTC One M8, which is HTC's new flagship phone. So at first glance, the overall silhouette will be immediately familiar to fans of the original model, but the longer you look at the device, the more subtle changes you'll begin to notice. For starters, HTC has minimized the amount of plastic and maximized the amount of metal. The body shell wraps from the back and around to the edges in a single continuous piece, rather than being segmented as the HTC HTC One was. The handset surfaces, particularly the ones which do grip, have been carefully tapered, rounded, and redesigned to be as comfortable to hold as possible while contributing to an overall smoother look. It's less angular than its predecessor, but this is a big improvement all around. Now, HTC is making a big deal about the metal finish. The company has used a brushed aluminum this time round to really make the phone look amazing, and it's also covered this with a smooth and slightly glossy clear coating. Your color choices are also slightly different. There's no black option because HTC wanted to only offer colors which just emphasize the metallic finish, so we have metal gray, arctic silver, and amber gold. Now, the HTC One A8 a is a little bit larger, thicker, and heavier than its predecessor, although not enough to get worried about, and it's pretty much in line with similar expansions seen on rival flagships. The display is a full 5 inches with a 1080p resolution at around 440 pixels per inch, and HTC didn't disclose what the precise screen tech is, other than to say that it's LCD and it has been improved from previous iterations. Either way, colors look amazing, and the screen resolution is just great. HTC's front facing stereo boom sound speakers have also made a return, complete with the punched grill design, and the company says it totally rebuilt its speaker hardware from scratch to provide better quality sound with a new amplifier and broader audio range. Now, the HTC One M8 uses Qualcomm's Snapdragon 801 quad-core processor, following in the footsteps of rivals such as the Xperia Z2 and the Galaxy S5. That's more of a leap for HTC though, because the previous model ran the older Snapdragon 600 chip. Things are noticeably faster and smoother, although seemingly more or less on par with rival devices, because the setup is clocked at around 2.3GHz with 2GB of RAM, and it does support a quick charge feature for the 2600mAh battery pack, but you know, a lot of other rival smartphones are pretty close to that. Now anyways, the camera is another really distinctive feature on the HTC One M8. Now basically, to cut a long story short, um, the distinctive dual camera lens setup we've heard so much about isn't quite what everyone thought. The top lens is really more of a dedicated depth sensor, and is purely dedicated to gathering spatial data. The actual camera sensor itself has similar specs to the existing HTC One, and HTC was happy with positive feedback on the HTC One's low light performance, and it's aimed to tweak things to get better results from the camera overall. Now, as far as the processing capabilities on the HTC One M8, it has a low power sensor chip similar to the Apple M7 Motion coprocessor called Motion Launch. It's entirely responsible for gesture and motion based functions, such as being able to answer a call simply by raising the phone to your ear or double tapping on the display to wake and sleep, much like LG's knock on function on the LG G2 and LG G Pad 8.3. There are a lot of other gesture controls as well, which I won't get into here. Now back to the camera, the major difference comes in the form of a few extra features. The depth sensor, known as the duo camera, allows for a refocus capability similar to Lytro cameras and what we've seen on the Galaxy S5. Now, crucially, the HTC One M8's focal ability is actually more sophisticated than Samsung's, and basically, because Samsung's tech uh, basically takes five pictures of different depths and then lets you cycle through them, but it doesn't have a depth sensor. HTC's works more like a true camera, albeit in a downscale format. It takes a sweep of actual depth data with its added sensor, which basically means you get a lot finer control. Now, also of note, the HTC One M8 features a two-tone dual LED flash with white and amber LEDs, just like Apple's setup on the iPhone 5S. Now, as far as software, onboard so far is Android 4.4 KitKat with HTC Sense 6, and the changes are pretty much in line with earlier leaks. The dark menu bars are gone, replaced by transparent UI elements and white icons. The rest looks a bit the same as the previous Sense build, although Blink Feed has been tweaked more, and now has customizable color themes and fonts. Now, HTC didn't go into much detail about connectivity, but it did say that the M8 has everything you might expect in a high-end device such as 4G LTE and NFC. 
Now, there are 16 gigabytes of the, there's a 16 gigabyte variant of the HTC One M8, although a 32 gigabyte variant will be landing in Asia, according to HTC, and possibly the US. The 16 gigabyte version should be everywhere, and it remains to be seen whether the larger capacity model, the 32 gigabyte one, will actually get everywhere as well. Now, the great news is though that the HTC One M8 features micro SD support, a full 128 gigabytes. In fact, it's time to rejoice about that. Now, anyways, the HTC One M8 is straightened out to be quite a nice handset and almost an all-round improvement on its predecessor packing more power, an improved display and audio setup, and a more luxurious chassis as well as the boon that is micro SD support. Now HTC is taking a gamble on that camera and I'm not sure whether it's going to pay off or not, it feels like a bit of a gimmick and personally I can't help but feel that HTC would have been better off keeping the optical stabilization, upping the megapixel count and enlarging the sensor size, but anyways I'm going to reserve judgement on the camera until this phone actually releases. Now anyways, let me know what you think of the HTC One M8 in the comments below, please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!